My name is Jill Barrup, I'm 34, Irish American, and I'm an environmental lawyer. Or, I'm Detective Inspector Jill Barrup, I'm 32, and I'm from Sussex. Or, I'm Irish, I'm 27, and I'm a biology teacher. These are the conclusions that 17 mostly strangers came to about me based on this picture. Hi, I'm Jill Bearup. I make videos about media analysis, science sometimes, and occasionally acting. When I like something, like for example acting, I like to do it, but I also like to read about it. I also love data because I'm a nerd. So I was reading an article recently by Bonnie Gillespie. Bonnie Gillespie wrote a book called Self-Management for Actors, which is aimed at American actors who are working or who want to work. Basically, people who want to actually make money at the business of acting. And one of the things she talks about in this is the importance of aligning your marketing materials with your brand. Sounds a bit strange when I say it. Basically, the idea is, if you have headshots and a show reel or a demo reel or whatever you call it, and they say one particular thing about you, like for example, I'm a sexy vixen, but when you come into the room, your vibe actually says more like, I'm a kindergarten teacher. You're not gonna book any work because people are gonna bring you in for things which you aren't right for in the first place, and then they're gonna go, nah, I think we'll go with someone else. Thanks. To know what your most castable type is, or types are, I guess, you need to know how you appear to random strangers, basically. Like, what is your vibe when you walk into a room before you even open your mouth? What adjectives do people use to describe you when they've never met you before? That is fascinating to me, and I love that stuff, so I joined the Self-Management for Actors Facebook group. And because it works as a kind of quid pro quo system, I went through and I did about a dozen other people's cast me surveys where you answer questions like what adjectives would you associate with this person in this silent video or photograph? What age do you think they are? What ethnicity do you think they are? Or what nationality? What type of roles could you see them playing? What kind of shows do you think they'd be on? And the all-important, is there anything else you'd like to tell me which you haven't covered already? So I did a bunch of these, got this picture. The actors in the room are now thinking, Jill, that is not a professional acting headshot, to which I can only respond, look, I work with what I've got here. Made a Google form and put it up on the Facebook group. I got 17 responses and individually they're interesting, but together they are fascinating because when you collate them, you can see the patterns. Man, I love data. Isn't it great? So the questions I asked were, what is the first impression you have when you see this photo? Then I gave a really long list of adjectives and said, just pick all of the ones you think apply. What age is she? What is her profession? What shows do you think she'd be on? And is there anything else you want to tell me? I collated these responses and Bonnie Gillespie suggests that you put them in a word cloud. And actually that was really helpful because that's very visual and YouTube friendly. So here it is. Oh yes. I imagine the results if I asked my YouTube audience to do an anonymous survey on what do you think I'm like would be really interesting, but not great for the whole first impressions acting thing. The reason I love the silent video ones is that it's very hard to cheat it, if you understand what I mean. The picture I put up was a serious picture, in the style of a theatrical headshot, so you're supposed to look serious. So I did. But what if you put up a really smiley picture? What if you wear different makeup? What if you change your hair? What if you change the lighting? What if you take off your glasses? I would love to know, but that's probably more data collection than I can really ethically do. Still, art and science. I love it. Anyway, in case you didn't spot it from the word cloud, my top responses were intense, intelligent, determined, and then slightly underneath that we had stuff like educated, detective, lawyer, teacher, and direct. In order to verify some of these, I considered texting some of my friends, but then I realized that basically the text would go like this. Would you consider me direct? Question mark. Also, hi, it's Jill. How are you? Which sort of proves the point on at least one of those. It's a little uncanny how well the hive mind of internet strangers can know you. I'm just saying. What I would like to know though is if you are an actor and you're watching this, hello, welcome, have you ever done something like this? Or did you do it in drama school? Or did you hand out paper surveys or something? And if you're not an actor, do you also find this really interesting? Because I find it just Fascinating. Could you do this for internet dating profiles? I mean, there's a subreddit, which is like, rate my profile, but that's more about how hot they think you are. I feel like there's a rich mine of information to be tapped from the internet hive mind, which we're just not taking advantage of. Strangers on the internet, I have found, are often honest in a way that even strangers that you are in the same room as aren't. Because, especially if you're British, there's still a little bit of that Mm, 
I don't want to tell you, like, mean things about yourself, even if they would be helpful to you in your acting career. Like, I saw this survey which I didn't fill in because I looked at it and went, you look like the guy in the police procedurals who drinks too much and beats his wife. And I didn't want to say that, even though that would probably be useful casting information. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't. My internet strangers, however, being mostly American, were uh, direct, shall we say. And that was really helpful. That's about all on the topic of how internet strangers perceive you. But I have some good news. Reich Spur is writing a fourth book in the Arenaverse series, or he's trying to, but he has to kickstart it because the publisher's like, no, nah, we're not gonna give you any more money. So. If you have watched any of my previous videos on the topic, if you've read the Arenaverse and you liked it, which you should because it's amazing, um, you should go to the link which I will also put in the description and you should, like, give the man money. I have given him money. I'm hoping he hits his target. Alright, see you all next time.